Take out your two wing halves uh, and lay them on top of each other. What we're looking for now is any glaring defects uh, or any glaring differences between the two wings. Uh, hard to see now. What we have here is actually the two wing halves overlaid. Again, what we're really looking for is any glaring defects. Uh, any major defects could cause turning problems with the wings. So just lay them on top of each other. Make sure they line up if they do. And you can just separate them as shown here so that they're now mirror images of each other. What we're going to do is we're going to set one aside and we're going to start rubbing the material down. And we're doing this for two reasons. One is to get any dirt off the material or as much dirt off the material as possible. The second is to create the same static charge that we created when cutting the material out in the first place. This is going to help us line the material up to the pattern underneath the glass. Uh, it is recommended that you put the pattern underneath glass or some material like this to keep everything as flat as possible. Now the wing material will actually line up to the outside of all the marks you see here. Uh, some of the inside lines are actually used for uh, background placement later on. What you're looking for is that the pattern be aligned all the way around and specifically right down the center. You want to see it going straight down the center line there. This is important for joining the wings later on. What we're going to do is just we're going to tape this down on the trailing edge only uh, using uh, like scotch uh, 3M tape, you know, magic mending tape. And this is just to hold the pattern in place while we start the assembly. Be as careful as you can not to move the pattern here. Now once you have the first one in place, repeat the procedure with the second one. Again, clean off the material, make sure there's as little dirt on it as possible and then create the sag charge to help hold it down and in place. And again, line the material up to the pattern. Okay, now that the two are there, you should see that the centers line up very closely. Uh, there can be small gaps, but there shouldn't be anything glaring in reality they should line up perfectly. And you also need to look top and bottom make sure that everything lines up. This is very critical uh, to prevent any turning problems with the wings later on. And we'll tape this one down as the same as before. You're going to be very careful not to move the pattern. And as you can see the pattern moved a little bit. What you'll do now is take up the last piece of tape you just put on, smooth the pattern back out, check for alignment, make sure everything is lined up the way it's supposed to be, and then continue taping. Now we're going to take the lead edge of the material and fold it back as shown here. This will get the material out of our way while we get our lead edge piece of Dacron. And this is the piece that we just put the two quarter inch pieces of tape on the inside. We're going to take some fairly long pieces of tape here to hold them down. And what we're lining up to now is the inside lines of our pattern. Okay, this will give you a better view of where the lead edge needs to be placed.
Okay, this piece is temporarily moved out of the way, and you can see where the, the original pattern for the wing goes. And we actually lay the material down to the most outside piece. And we've created a couple of small lines to line up the Dacron to. Uh, these are exactly a half an inch inside the lead edges because it's a half an inch of material that goes into the Dacron. Now once we have these in place we're going to peel back the backing from the tape. You can see there there's a tape is being left behind. I'm just going to very carefully fold the material back out into the Dacron starting from the center and working our way out. Use very light pressure here. If any mistakes are made you should be able to lift it up fairly easily and lay it back down again. It is very important that everything stay flat here. Once you're happy with the wing placement, take the other piece of tape off. And as in previous, we're going to start at the center. And we're going to slide our finger across at an angle, pushing on the crease before we actually seal the tape down. Once we are happy with the way the material is laid, you're going to take your burnishing tool and press hard into the material to get the material to, or to get the tape to adhere to both the Dacron and the material at the same time. And we'll repeat the same operations with the other half.